guys, this is VBT Re again. Welcome to tutorial number 20 on my Visual Basic Learning series. So today we'll be working on how to get colors through RGB codes. So RGB codes stands for red, blue, uh, green and blue. So uh, yeah, let's wait for this to load and I'm gonna get four sliders and I'm gonna show you why in a second so track bars the minimum of this should be zero and the maximum should be 250 since uh, they, it can go till 250 okay there are four. Now uh, let's stretch these out first. That. Okay. And now uh, we want to make a sub. So uh, public sub change color. So. Uh, we're gonna change the back color of the form. So back color equals color dot from ARGB and uh, it means uh, ARGB it's uh, the same as RGB. So we need the blue which is track bar one dot value the red track track bar two dot value and track bar three dot value and we'll need another one actually which is the opacity so track bar for dot value and what the opacity means is um, track for track for one dot value and what the opacity means is um, how how much the depth of the the colors so we'll select all of these go to the events and go to value changed and we'll put in change color okay so now let's run this and as you can see uh, there's a bug so let's actually stop this and add a panel because I think the color the form doesn't support uh, the opacity thing so we'll change this back color to panel one dot back color okay let's run it now and it should work fine it doesn't seem to work for some reason and uh, it was the opacity was zero that's why it didn't work now we can change the colors as you can see so uh, yeah we also can we can also do something let's add this guy over here label and let's put in a label label one dot text equals color uh, plus track bar bar track bar four dot value plus comma plus plus track bar one dot value plus comma plus track bar three two actually dot value plus comma 
less plus track bar p dot value plus and close the parentheses so now let's run it and as you can see it changes okay let's see what the problem is here let's just change these to ampersands okay so let's change the opacity again and as you can see it gives us a little preview color preview and uh, that is it for this tutorial so thank you guys for watching hope you learned something out of it if you did uh, thumbs up comment and subscribe to my channel follow me on twitter twitter.com slash and the code is in the description below and see you next time guys